Hey there, it's Andrea with Catch the Fire Worship Flags and we're watching the weekly. We're one day early than I normally do it and I'm total surprise, so surprise, here I am. Uh, great uh, weather outside, so I thought it's the light. I don't know what the weather's gonna be tomorrow and I wanted to show you something uh, in terms of in terms of actual some worship, worship flag movements and so I really wanted to make sure that I had light and here it is. Uh, so yeah surprise here I am how's your week going how's the time change for those of you who have animals dogs and small children really the time change the extra hour does not matter whatsoever my dog Sophie still is getting up at you know four o'clock and um, so that's my life. It's not like I get to sleep in. Uh, not that I actually do. So how are yeah? How are you guys doing? It's just absolutely gorgeous weather, and and here I am. So today, a couple of things that I want to help you. Uh, this is the weekly for November six, and uh, this is your weekly encourage, worship encouragement to help you elevate your praise to the next level. I want to talk to you about overcoming. And prevailing and uh, just just power words that have meant so much to me for so many years I was reading again in Revelation 5 5 now I have my notes that I, this is the third time that I've tried to do this outside so I had to keep going back into the house so I had the last thing I just forgot was my notes so if I have gotten the scriptures incorrect please forgive me someone will I'm sure correct me uh, very quickly if I've got it wrong but Revelation 5 5 says that uh, the um, it's the line from the tribe of Judah from the root of David he prevailed and I, ca I got stuck on prevail I got stuck on the world word prevail because it is the same word that if you go back all the way to Genesis 32 verse 25 when Jacob was wrestling with the angel and that scripture says and the angel could not overcome him uh, and so or or it says that J either Jacob that it's different translations sorry can't speak different translations say speak different things different words but it's either you have that the angel could not overcome Jacob or Jacob overcame or Jacob prevailed it's that same word uh, and in fact that is the same word so the Hebrew word is translated into the same word as dunamis which we know understand is the Holy Spirit and so I just love this whole triangular picture of the scripture of the prevailing and then in my memories as you probably all get with Facebook your Facebook live or Facebook memories uh, when a quote that I had from years ago several years ago it, it it said sometimes overcoming means walking with a limp and I was again reminded of Hebrews 11 21 I think it is 11 21 that it says that Jacob blessed Joseph's sons and worshiped leaning on his staff which is such a beautiful picture of worship because way back in Genesis we read that the angel touched his socket meaning he was actually in pain he limped all of his life and if Jesus had scars that we see that we will be able to touch and see uh, his scars and Jacob we have an example of him having some pain in his hip that he actually had to lean but that did not diminish the way that he was able to worship or the way that he was able to praise and then in Hebrews 15 13 says that it's off we offer up a sacrifice of praise and so there's something beautiful about the overcoming it sometimes overcoming looks like walking with a limp or sometimes overcoming looks like having scars and there isn't there isn't um, sometimes we get the idea of that that overcoming means having no problems or having nothing that everything is tied up in a bow and that's that's not true and so I just want to have you ponder that that came up three times today and I think that that was I think it definitely speaks to me it's one of my favorite verses and my favorite kind of scriptures about overcoming and prevailing I want to be an overcomer in my life I know that you guys that fire catchers want to be an overcomer in your life as well 
And so that's just some, some encouragement for your week. And, and a few things that are happening, I want to let you know, we've got the children's uh, biannual children's flag sale happening this Saturday. And the only way that you're going to know about, you're going to know where to go or how to buy it, $10 flags, $10 flags for is if to get on the list. So I'm going to update the, the listing and give you the, the links for that. Uh, and also coming up, you'll want to be checking your emails next week for the brand new giveaway. And so you know that we're going to be launching a new collection coming up really soon. And we always celebrate with a giveaway and this is going to be a special one for you and a bestie. So don't miss out on that. And the best way to get or the best way to get a hold of that information is also on the list. Provide that information as well. Uh, trending, what's trending? Uh, with a hands down, it was beloved, uh, beautiful offering so beautiful I love it and honestly it just makes me so happy every time I make it and I know that it pleases the father <laughs> it pleases the father your worship I love the one thing that I love about beautiful offering worship flags is that it truly is like a picture of our heart uh, of just being abandoned into worship abandoned to Christ and he loves it there's just such pleasure that I feel from the father as I'm making them and as those went out this week also I want to this is a, another little if you have had worship flags that if you've ordered worship flags, pray for them. I pray for them as they go out because there is an enemy against the mail. USPS, Satan is on USPS at this moment. And I cannot believe that some of the boxes have the, the how they look and there's actually no damage. Uh, Jen Bennett, she just got some flags and she was telling me how badly beaten up the box was. So where I'm going to post it in the fire catchers group but I'm also going to encourage it here if you have received a beat up box but your flags are intact that is an act of of terrorism and that we are going to stand against it so post I want to see those pictures those boxes that have been beat up and still the enemy cannot take them okay so that to me that's just something very victorious about that we're gonna prevail in uh, even what the enemy tries to do when the flags are en route to you so if you have a picture of a very beat-up box we're gonna have a post in the fire catchers group that I really want you to add to that and we are going to stand together that's kind of what I kind of think of as locking our sh our faith shields and we're going to stand together in that okay um that was just another side so we've got I remembered all that and there's just one stance so I wanted to show you I've got a, I'm gonna have to step back it's kind of muddy I'm gonna step back so as much as you can see can you give me a thumbs up or can I see some hearts if you can still hear me Yay, nay. I'm not seeing anything. Can you see me? Can you hear me if I'm if I'm moving back? Okay, I can see it. Okay, great. Okay. So as dancers, if you were a trained dancer, you know that the position would be probably a little bit of your feet out. Now hear this, I am not a dancer. I will not pretend to teach you about dance. I don't know the forms although I have been worshiping in this format with this in this form for several years so I have picked up a few things um, so the correct stance would be like really strong core uh, but this position with your legs together is really not conducive to worship flags so what do you do with your feet we all kind of know that our hands are going up and, and our arms are going, but what do we do with our feet? And especially if you start to move, uh, and you know if you don't have a strong core, which is always a good thing, have your strong core, um, but the, cr the best way to have a power stance is actually to have your feet spread. And if you watch in other videos how other people have done it, they their feet are, are a little, you have this, triangular place so you want to when you're stepping you're gonna move forward and step back 
and move forward with your feet so that you are creating um, a triangle power with a core with a strong core and that your weight is you're going to shift your weight to the front heel not your toe but your heel so that you're dug in into the ground now I don't like when I'm worshiping I do actually like to have bare feet uh, or some very fine shoes on so that I don't I can actually feel and grip that's even the, the best but so if you are always if you're standing this way you will tip over so I would just write it's okay to, to stand with a strong leg out and back and then come in so when you're you're worshiping I don't want to okay and you're gonna step and step and you're going to have it's okay to do that I know that traditional praise dance or, or dance you have a very closed you, you move out and then you come to a very closed position and so we want to make sure that you are safe and that you will not fall over so ways to do that is actually to have a strong core but also to keep your legs and your feet positioned and planted and standing strong so that's just your little tip for the week have a great week I'm not gonna see you tomorrow but I'll see you in fire catchers group Love you guys. Bye.